Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to get iPhone 10 features on any older iPhone running iOS 11 up to 11.4 beta 3. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Have you ever felt jealous seeing iPhone 10 with its cool and unique features exclusively designed only for iPhone 10? Here, yeah, as you can see, you can flip between apps like that with just a finger and being able to exit out of apps like that without using home button is really awesome so if you feel jealous like what i said earlier today you will know how to get those cool iphone 10 features on any iphone that runs ios 11. as long as your iphone is jailbroken on ios 11 you're good to go there are two tweaks that provide these awesome iphone 10 features i'll show you how to install both tweaks and a short comparison between the two tweaks to see which one attracts you more let's start with the first tweak it's called Fluid Enabler. It should also be noted that there are some videos on YouTube that show you how to install Fluid Enabler not directly from CDA but manually install it using this app called Filza. This app is just like iFiles but for some reason iFile developer does not make iFiles compatible with iOS 11 so this is the best replacement to iFiles. So they use this app and a few other apps to manually install Fluid Enabler on the jailbroken iOS 11. And that method is quite complicated for those who are not good at IT. However, for my method today, you will download and install Fluid Enabler directly from CD. You don't have to go through manual installation like that. So to get Fluid Enabler, you need to go to CD and add this source. So go to CD. Go to sources. Click edit, add. There are two sources that has Fluid Enabler. The first one is repo dot hack your iPhone. Dot org. Add that. And the second source is k dog. 0598.github.com Any of these source has fluid enabler in there. So after you add the sources, you can go to search and type in fluid enabler. You can see there so it's the same you can choose any of these let me choose the first one click install click confirm Click return to CD. Usually it will ask you to respring, but this time it doesn't, so you have to respring. So I have to respring my device. So you take a look at my iPhone screen. This is the look of iOS 10 features. On this side is the flashlight, the camera here. If you swipe from the top right, you can see the control center. If I swipe up, it activates app switcher, just like an iPhone 10. You can see you can switch between apps like that. I also recommend you to install this tweak called Easy Switcher X. This one will allow you to swipe up to quit the app. Usually with iPhone 10, you swipe up like this, it will not quit the app, but if you install Easy Switcher, you just swipe up, it will quit the app. It works seamlessly with this iPhone 10 feature tweak. So you can see it works great. But there's one problem with this app. After you install it through CD, if you go to settings, you can see there's no settings 
for this tweak. Let's say you want to deactivate it for a short time because you want to use your power button again. Because once you install Fluid Enabler, all features or button will be the same like iPhone 10. If I try to use my sleep button, I press hold, see it will activate Siri. Let's say you want to deactivate Fluid Enabler for a short time so that you can reboot your device. With Fluid Enabler, you cannot do that. That's why I also introduced you the second tweak which function the same like fluid enabler but it's better in terms of the fact that you can enable it or disable it in the setting without having to uninstall that tweak directly from CDA. So if you go back to CDA. So in order to get the second tweak that functions the same as fluid enabler you have to add a source it's called midnight chip dot g i t h u b dot i o slash repo add this source again all the sources i have included in the description you can check them out if you cannot catch up with what i explained that tweak is called fluidity this one so the one you installed earlier is called fluid enabler but this one that functions the same as fluid enabler is called fluidity just install it i already installed it in my situation i have already installed fluidity and also deactivate it so it go back to normal mode right now if i click on sleep button see it go back to normal mode so if you want to activate iphone 10 feature again the fluidity Go to settings, scroll down, and here you can see fluidity. For fluid enabler, you don't see any setting for it. That's a big drawback of that tweak. But with fluidity, it has the settings inside the settings app so that you can see at the top it says enable. You can enable it or disable it anytime you want. You don't have to go to CD to deactivate it by uninstalling it. You just go here to the settings, enable it when you want it. When you don't want it, you can disable it through here. You can activate status bar as well and also home indicator to make it look just like iPhone 10. So for it to take effect, you have to click on restart springboard. Okay, you see at the bottom and at the top, it just make it look like iPhone 10. You just scroll from the top right, that's notification center. And the flashlight, the camera. And if you scan, you can see at the top, it's just like iPhone 10. If you swipe up from the top left, it will activate the lock screen. You can see, you don't see it, but it just activate the same. It works perfectly. You can exit our app by doing that, just like Fluid Enabler. It's really cool. So between these two, as you can see, Fluidity is better than Fluid Enabler. For the first reason, just like I told you earlier, you have the settings for it. You can activate or deactivate it through here without having to uninstall the tweak because once you activate this all the normal features that you can do on normal iPhone will not work because it will function like iPhone 10 if I click on sleep button again see it will activate Siri but let's say you want to quickly restart your iPhone what would you do would you uninstall the tweak no just disable this tweak click respring Okay, now it is normal mode. And when you press hold the power button, it works as normal. It's really cool. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can install iPhone 10 awesome features on any older iPhones. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.